Welcome to Sweet Trails. Join us as we embark on a thrilling journey through Dubrovnik, Croatia. Get ready to uncover the city's hidden gems with our hand-picked selection of seven exhilarating tours and activities. Let's dive into the vibrant charm of Dubrovnik together. Remember that you have the links to all the activities in the description. Number 1. This Dubrovnik Sea Kayaking Tour begins with a safety briefing at a stunning Old Town hotspot. Head off with your guide across the channel and on the seas near the cursed island of Lokrum. You'll make several on-sea stops at points of interest along the way. Learn about the curse of the island and the history of Dubrovnik, previously known as Ragusa. Stop at one of the only hotels that was not rebuilt after the war. The hotel was the site of hand-to-hand -hand combat between the Serbian and Montenegrin armies and the Dubrovnik defenders during the war. Spend around 30 minutes of free time at the only beach in Dubrovnik that's not accessible on foot, and rest at its popular cave. You can swim, snorkel, explore, relax, eat, or sunbathe. Later you'll continue back along the coastline of Dubrovnik and see the area's Beverly Hills and Dubrovnik's first quarantine zone. This tour will give you the opportunity to take in Dubrovnik from the seaside, capture some amazing shots of the outer walls, and hear a bit about the history of this legendary city. Number 2. Witness the Kravica waterfalls, hidden in the forests of Bosnia-Herzegovina on a day tour. Visit the city of Mostar and learn the history of the region with a professional guide. Depart Dubrovnik and journey to the border of Croatia and Bosnia-Herzegovina. Continue to the small coastal town of Niam, admiring the pretty scenery of the Adriatic coast along the way. Arrive at the Kravica waterfalls to see the tufa cascades of the river Trebizot drop 25 meters through the forest. In spring, witness the dramatic falls, while in summer and fall, enjoy a swim in the shallow pools. Drive to the historic city of Mostar to explore the old town and see the famous old bridge over the Naredva River. Take a short walking tour with a local guide and learn more about the town before enjoying free time. Number 3. From the main port of Gruz, it only takes about 20 minutes to get to the Elefiti Archipelago, so this half-day tour is great for those looking for a bit of adventure close to town. Of the three main islands, you can easily visit one or two in half a day. During the hot summer months, the Blue Cave on Kolosep and the famous Sunj Beach of Lopud are ideal if you like swimming and snorkeling. Your skipper will know all of the best spots for cliff jumping on the islands too if you're an adrenaline seeker. If you want to visit some of the island's historical villages instead, you might consider the old monastery and rector's palace on Sipan. Since this is a private tour, you get to decide on your own itinerary and you are free to change it throughout the day. Your skipper can advise you about the area and help you make the most of your time. Some of our guests start out their planning to visit all three islands, end up falling in love with the first one, and stay there all afternoon. Other groups move along more quickly and have time to visit something extra before heading back to Dubrovnik. It's 100% flexible, and it's 100% up to you. Number 4. Hang on tight for an exciting zipline tour in Dubrovnik and enjoy taking two zipline rides. Feel your adrenaline rush as you see panoramic views of the old town and surrounding landscape. Meet your guide and start your tour with a panoramic drive to Mount SRDJ, overlooking Dubrovnik's old town. During your drive, witness what made the mountain a place of cultural importance to the locals and why its name is embedded in the history books of the city. Reach the top and have a briefing with your zipline guide. Afterward, familiarize yourself with the equipment and try ziplining on a short training course. Once the group is ready, take two rides down the zipline lines with views of Dubrovnik's old town, the sea, and the surrounding landscape. Safely follow your guide as they take you through the whole experience and take you back to land. Number 5. This Dubrovnik Sea Kayaking Tour begins with a safety briefing at a stunning old town hotspot. Head off with your guide across the channel and on the seas near the cursed island of Lokrum. You'll make several on-sea stops at points of interest along the way. Learn about the curse of the island and the history of Dubrovnik, previously known as Ragusa. Stop at one of the only hotels that was not rebuilt after the war. 
The hotel was the site of hand-to-hand -hand combat between the Serbian and Montenegrin armies and the Dubrovnik defenders during the war. Spend around 30 minutes of free time at the only beach in Dubrovnik that's not accessible on foot, and rest at its popular cave. You can swim, snorkel, explore, relax, eat, or sunbathe. Later you'll continue back along the coastline of Dubrovnik and see the area's Beverly Hills and Dubrovnik's first quarantine zone. This tour will give you the opportunity to take in Dubrovnik from the seaside, capture some amazing shots of the outer walls, and hear a bit about the history of this legendary city. Number 6. Explore the city of Dubrovnik, or, King's Landing, and see the famous sights of Game of Thrones with a guide who also worked on the set of the TV show. Get an introduction about filming in all countries and problems with extras in different countries. Hear the stories about actors in real life before you go back to the Bay of Blackwater and King's Landing port. After exploring the locations of the scenes head towards the Red Keep or the Fort of St. Lawrence. Take photos of Lockrum Island and the city walls of Dubrovnik. See the spot where the Purple Wedding took place and learn facts about Joffrey in real life. After a 10-minute break, continue visiting all scenes from King's Landing. You will learn also learn facts about the history of the Republic of Dubrovnik. Recreate the Walk of Shame with the help of your guide and find out what the Walk of Shame should have looked like in the first place and take a photo on the Iron Throne. After some free time to rest and eat, take a three-hour journey in a car to see all other locations outside Dubrovnik. Visit the King's Landing Gardens, Terstino Botanical Garden, and King's Road, top of Sir Hill. Sir Number 7. Start your journey in Dubrovnik and enjoy a less than two-hour drive with your English-speaking driver. Discover the scenic routes of Croatia and across the border to Bosnia and Herzegovina. First, stop at the Kravica Falls, one of the best-kept secrets of Bosnia and Herzegovina. The falls created by the river Trebizond provide a relaxing background for swimming and picnics in summer. Then, continue to your next stop, the city of Mostar. Explore the narrow cobblestone streets of the old town. Then marvel at the old bridge that crosses the river Naretva. Finally, stop at the medieval town of Pochatel before going back to Dubrovnik. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.